you looking to simplify your policy controls while simultaneously making them more specific? In a previous video, we discussed policy controls for certificate authority service and focused on coarse-grained or issuance policies that are used to create the baseline for a CA pool. In this video, we'll dive into the other side of policy controls with fine-grained policies using templates. Templates allow for defining a set of policy controls that are not tied to a single CA pool. For example, to standardize the issuance of server TLS certificates across all CA pools in an organization, or to apply multiple policies to a single CA pool. One application of this is for applying policies at more granular levels, such as per user. Many solutions today don't discriminate between fine-grained and coarse-grained controls, which means that every department or service that needs a certificate has to use the issuance policy that has been assigned to the whole company or service. That works if you have high-level policy needs, but what about when you need a seamless way to create more detailed policies without needing multiple scoped CAs? That's where fine-grained policies come in. Policy controls can be considered fine-grained if they are built using templates and are applied to specific users through a CA pool's IAM policy. These templates determine the operations a particular user can perform on a CA pool and can be useful in situations when you need to restrict the kinds of certificates that different individuals can issue. Think of this as a way to segment based on conditions and user groups. Thanks to IAM conditions enforcing the templates, you can get specific and say that Anthony can issue from the CA pool with template A and Bukola can issue from the same CA pool but with template B and not template A. This makes it easy to give the correct access to users with less risk and allows for scaling of your policies across lots of users with less certificates needed. To use a certificate template, you'll need the CA service certificate template user role on the template. Google recommends that the authors of a certificate template grant the CA service certificate template user role to all members in the organization who might use that certificate template. Note that this doesn't allow all organization members to use the template with just any pool. Individuals still need to be granted access to specific CA pools in addition to the permission to use the template. To create a template, you can use this gcloud command to configure your policies quickly. Setting the template ID, allowed x.509 extensions, subjects, and predefined values. CAS provides a list of certificate profiles, which are common combinations of certificate extension values for common use cases. You can use these profiles as inspiration for what to put in the templates you create. Check out the link in the description to see the examples. If you want to add specific extensions to all certificates issued using this template, you'll need to create a YAML file containing those extensions. This is the file referred to in the predefined values file line of the code. Then, you'll need to do two things to use the template. First, you'll need to configure the CA pool to require that the user use that new template. Otherwise, the user can just choose not to use it and can still request any certificate they want. And second, adjust the certificate request that the user makes to actually reference that template. I'll link the tutorials on how to complete these steps in the description. To learn more about creating different templates for certificate authority service and other useful documents, check the links below. If you've been enjoying the CAS series, make sure to like this video and subscribe to be notified of more. Thanks for watching.